deep down I always said, dear God, if there's ever a way that I could make a living once when I grow up driving a race car, that would be my ultimate achievement. The sport, obviously, back in the 60s, early 60s, and, and through even the 70s, um, it was not as safe as, uh, as it is today. And uh, so, because of that, we, you know, the, the drivers were facing, uh, you know, some precarious situations. I said, if we are smart enough to make the cars go faster, why can't we just deal with the safety aspect as well? You know, I want to live to drive another day. And, um, and so that's really when uh, we started thinking about, it. we need a good test facility, somewhere where we can really go and experiment, in a place where we can let it all hang out, let a, you know, just that our imagination run wild. That's what we needed. And that's what was developed. And that was the beginning of a whole new era. What a beautiful thing about the test facility was the fact that uh, nobody knew it was happening. Family members didn't know. You know, I would disappear, you know, for weeks on end. It was all experimental. And the only way to really find out, you know, where the total limits are is to get almost crazy. Do things that you think are almost technically impossible. There are no basic rules, to be honest with you, and the world around us is filled with rules. But for us to be able to really take those rules to the limit, we have to just work outside the rules somewhere, you know, where we can just go wild and then narrow it down. I mean, all the things that we even do at a test facility, yes, we don't know what's going to happen on the other side, but you know something? You feel confident there's a lot of engineering that's gone into it. You know, we're crazy, but not that crazy. You know, we're smart crazy. Wow. You know, it's amazing um, that flip at Indy, um, exiting turn one, 222 miles an hour, and uh, hit something on the track that was created by a crash. It happened just a second in front of me, and, uh, and unstuck the car. And I started flying, and uh, actually while I was somersaulting at 200 miles an hour, I was thinking, you know, my days at the test facility, you know, I said, hey, we used to do that purposely, you know, and here I am. I think I might have had something to do with landing on the wheels, actually, by having had that experience many, many times. Experience is experience, you know, and you never know when it's going to be useful. And uh, this I did not expect. but. It's all about reacting at the right time and reacting properly and sometimes it pays you back. The test facility was just, uh, I would like to think, essential in my career. It was an incredible time in my life where I was able to really develop skills that I obviously could not develop doing anything else or being anywhere else. You know, the results that I was able to uh, have in, in the sport um, I credit the test facility for all of that.